it's your girl Nicole Young and I am doing a very different video today than I usually do obviously we're in my house uh, the birds are chirping it's a beautiful day I just came in and took a shower after taking Robin for a walk and just really getting some fresh air so I have a lot to talk about today I have a lot on my heart that I want to share with you all um, because I feel like we are a community, we're a family, and I feel like I definitely want to share with you all what I'm feeling, what I'm going through, and kind of some things that I've been thinking about uh, in terms of what I can do from where I'm at. Um, so for those who don't know, uh, we are experiencing a big uprising uh, because of police brutality and just systematic oppression that is happening in the United States. Now, this is not something that is new. Our country was founded on the systematic oppression of black people. Uh, so it's not like it's something that's just happening. It's not like it's something I'm just experiencing for the first time. It's something that has been happening forever, literally in the history of this country. So we are collectively at a point where it's just like enough is enough. We have to be doing more and we have to be seeing more from people who are calling themselves our allies, from companies and things like that. Like we have to see more. So if you aren't aware of what's going on, definitely educate yourself. I'll leave some resources down in the description of this video, but it's a lot y'all. It's just, I am really, really trying to stay above water with this because a lot of times when we hear of new situations and new cases where a black person was murdered by the police you hear it and when you see the videos or the photos of these situations it's traumatic and it takes a toll on you as a person so if you are someone that handles things like I do like just know that I'm here for you um, it has been really hard for me um, and I'm just trying to take care of myself as best I can during these times because it can really take a toll on, on you, on your mental health, on your physical health. Like I know I feel so drained. I've had a lack of motivation to do anything um, over the last couple of days and honestly over the last week. And it's just really tough. So de definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself and if you are someone that is more so an ally or non-black person, please make sure you're educating yourself. Please make sure that you are listening to your black peers and your black friends because that is so important to do. Um, you will never be able to understand what it's like living in our skin but you can listen and you can use your privilege and your resources to make a difference in this situation so make sure that you're doing that um what i really want to talk about though is what we as people in tech need to be doing because i um have struggled a lot with wondering what more i should be doing I'm not someone in myself that feels like I'm really effective as a protester, but I know that I can use the gifts and talents that I have to make a difference and to fight this systematic oppression and the issues that it creates for my people. I can use those things to resist in the best way I know how. And I think that as us black people who are in tech, we have an amazing opportunity right now to use the skills that we have to affect real change in ways that will really help and ways that will really matter, uh, especially as we progress into the future and especially as 
uh, technology continues to take over the world. I realized that me sharing my, my experience in tech, sharing my stories um, of what it was like for me in tech, I realized that me even daring to learn the things that I'm learning, these are active forms of resistance and they matter and they are helping to fight the larger system. I think like when I was studying um, African American history and American history from that perspective, I realized that, you know, it wasn't just Martin Luther King and his peaceful protests. It wasn't just the Black Panthers or Malcolm X or any one entity that helped fight for desegregation or better rights for Black Americans in that sense. It wasn't just one or the other. It was collectively people choosing what path they felt was right that helped to attack the system at different sides and see real change. So what I will say is that, you know, you might not be a protester, but definitely consider that what you are learning as, you know, a coder, what you are doing as, you know, a, a developer or a data scientist or whatever it is that you're doing, like that is your form of resistance and stand proud and strong in that because we need, we need more black people in technology and we need those of us that are black in technology to stand together, to stay strong and to continue to just simply exist in these systems and in these companies that are not really trying to include us in what they are creating in the growth and the um, wealth that they are creating and you know I think that there it's level like there's so much that we can do I mean I also believe that there's a lot that we can do to create our own resources our own systems our own companies that can help spread wealth within technology um, but I'm someone that I believe that it takes all of us it takes those of us who are committed and willing to starting our own companies and our own businesses but it also takes those of us who are in those systems as well because what better way to take down a racist system than from the inside right like when i was working in the startup that i was working for i was experiencing levels of racism and sexism that I don't even want to relive by talking about sometimes because it was so hard on me and so mind blowing that people would see all that I could contribute to the company and still find reasons to keep me down. They would still find reasons to not give me promotions that I felt like I deserved and they would still find reasons to say that I wasn't doing enough or say that I wasn't uh, qualified enough for you know the things that I was doing and before I left I was actively speaking out against the leadership and speaking out against the practices hiring practices and things like that that we had that I felt were extremely dangerous because they were very biased it was so wrong what I was seeing and I, I spoke out against it. I said what I wanted to do, like what kinds of programs and things that I thought would be helpful for not only those of us that were there, but those of us that we could bring in. And on multiple occasions, I was shut down. And I had allies who were also speaking out against the hiring practices and against the issue that we had with diversity. And shut down on multiple occasions and straight up like there are some people <laughs> that are being racist and are perpetuating racism and racist systems that don't even realize it and don't realize just how deep it is and like we have to start doing something about it and whether that means actively speaking out the way I did I felt justified in doing that because I was 
someone that started with that company from very early on um, within the first year. Um, so I felt justified in speaking up against those things. But you might be in a company that is a Fortune 500 company or a big corporate company and don't feel like you're anywhere on the hierarchy that has means to speak up in those senses like that might not be your fight but there are other ways that we can stand up especially for those that are going to be coming up behind us all right guys so i talk a whole lot and i also do a japanese beauty regimen which means that i do like six or seven different moisturizers before I even put makeup on so I didn't get a chance to actually um, do a whole get ready with me because I talked so much and had so much on my chest and I talked through it and then when I went to come edit this video realized that my phone had died like halfway into it so now we're here. Okay, so just to finish off what I was talking about before, we have a very unique and important position as black people in tech right now to use our voices, to use our skills and our abilities, to use our companies, and just simply even to use our bodies and existing as an active form of resistance for what is happening and what is going on, not only in our industry, but in, our world right now in a society right now so let's be supporting each other let's make sure that we are making room for new people to come up behind us as we reach new heights and let's make sure that we are doing what we can to stand up for what is right and what is going to help everyone in the long run and i also want to say again if you are contemplating learning how to code please take it so seriously and give it some real thought and just try learning, um, try getting started because we need more black people in tech and we need more people um, who are committed to equity in tech. And the more of us there are, the easier it'll be for us to start seeing real change in this and start being able to fight the racist tech and the systematic oppression that we are facing in this industry because they won't be able to ignore us. I would definitely say give it some real thought and use me as a resource. Use other YouTubers and content creators as resources. We can't do this alone. You're not going to be able to do it alone. Um, but I am here. Feel free to message me or contact me personally if you need help or advice or just somebody to vent to because I know firsthand that it helps so much having people to talk to that understand what you're going through. So please use me as a resource. Join the Facebook community, whatever you need to do. Definitely check out my other videos as well in my Black Woman in Tech series because I give more context to what I was talking about earlier with the company that I was with and the oppression and the sexism and racism that I experienced while I was there. So um, check that out as well. And let's get started. Let's do this because this is a way that we can make change and fight systematic oppression using the skills and abilities that we have. So as always, guys, I love you. You know I love you. I'm rooting for you. And I will see you next week in the next video.